And now, ladies and gentlemen, we reach our children's educational segment, where John makes things with household items. Please welcome the host for this segment, DIY John! <laughs> John and my specialty is making things out of simple stuff you'll find just lying about the house. Today we're going to work on a very exciting project to keep you out of mum's hair and because it's the Rethink Challenge Night, tonight we're going to build a replica of a human brain and we're going to do that using simple things you would find around the house. Now you can use whatever you might get your hands on like maybe a soccer ball or a dog what I'm doing <laughs> is this red cabbage, just a bit there, and that's what I'm going to use, such as you might find in your nana's garden or rotting in the crisper of the student flat. <laughs> and I'm also going to use this stick, such as you might find on a tree, or a kindling box or in your dad's underwear drawer. <laughs> now, have you ever looked, have you ever, we're going to start off, have you ever looked at a cabbage and gone, my lord, that looks almost exactly like a human brain. Look at that, it's red, it's got all the little vessels there. It's got to have some vitamin C there, mate. It's, uh, it's got a little brain stem on the bottom there. So we're ready to go, aren't we? Now. We need to, to turn this into a complete replica. The first thing you're going to need is a big, strong, electric drill. How are you there, buddy? Look, how are you doing? I saw you looking at your knees here. Don't worry, mate. Don't be frightened. How are you doing? Come on. Can we do that with a bit more speed? There we go. That's a round of applause for those kids. You with your little flower in your hair. You with your Little lacy toast, you're going to be a real little hottie when you grow up, aren't you? <laughs> now the first, what's your name there, love? Gillian. Gillian. Did you, is that a made up name or is that a real one? I guess. Yes, I'm going to call you Myrtle. <laughs> now, the first thing you're going to need is a big strong power drill. Now your dad's probably not going to want you getting this expensive, dangerous power tool out of the garage with the longest drill that you can find on it. So wait till he goes down to get the paper, nip into the garage, and get out that van. <laughs> now the first thing we're going to do is drill a hole through the centre of the cabbage. It's very important that it goes very central through the cabbage there, very difficult to, to judge it, so you might want to get your little brother to just stand on the other side there. <laughs> <laughs> fire, fire that thing right through there. There we go. And there it is. And you can see now I've, I've made a little hole right through the cabbage, uh, which is almost exactly the same thickness as the, the drill bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to hammer this through. So you're going to go back into your dad's garage and you're going to get a nice big gullwing hammer there. So just grab that hammer. Now, if you're only a little a little lassie like yourself, Merton, you want to grab that with two hands. So get a mate to hold on the stick there and just grab that and hold that stick, Merton, and just hammer that in, just right through. <laughs> just like, hold that stick nice and erect. <laughs> Find the hole and just hammer it up. hemisphere brain there, we want a two hemisphere brain. So the next thing you do, Myrtle, is you're going to go into Mum's kitchen and you're going to get her biggest, sharpest cleaver there. And now, once again, Mum's not going to want you using her sharp kitchen implements, so probably best that you do it in a darkened room so she can't see you and just smash that in there, just make a nice line through there. Just, there we go, we're making the two hemispheres, we're just getting them apart there. Look at that, a bit of, making a bit of coleslaw while we're at it. <laughs> there you go, Myrtle. Here's the <laughs> there. A bit of that into you. That'll, that'll put some boobs on you. Now, um, <laughs> never say what you're thinking. Uh, now, <laughs> now, as you can see, now we have these two beautiful brain hemispheres. The left 
side, the left hemisphere, that's where all the, the thinking, imaginative, creative stuff is that makes no money. And this is the right hand side where all the technical thinking, look at me, I'm a fucking lawyer, belongs. <laughs> um, what do they do? Now, that is our human brain, ladies and gentlemen. How do you feel about that? Hey, kids. <laughs> No, I've tricked you, because we're not building a human brain. What we're actually building is a yo-yo. And that's, look at that beautiful yo-yo. Now, the one thing we're going to need, get rid of that. Someone else will clean that up. The one thing that we're going to need to make a yo-yo is a string. Now, what I often do is I'll just go to my mum's undies drawer, pull out a nice balloon and a piece of, a nice pair of tights there, straight out of the panty drawer. It's a little tip I picked up off Target. <laughs> <laughs> they don't so much use it for a yo-yo string as a dust mask, do they? But it's another, another, oh, I know, that's shocking, isn't it, Bertrand? There we go, we'll just wind that string around there and look at our beautiful yo-yo. Now, of course, the proof of the construction of our yo-yo <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't have me here before, you're going to have it after, aren't you? Let's count this down. Three, two, one, go! Oh, did you know you just throw the other half of my brain up there, please? <laughs> It's a double trick I've done because actual fact it is a brain we were building but what we've just seen is how a brain can sometimes get a bit messed up when we, you know, use it like a yo-yo. So I'm just going to shove that bit on there. We've got a nice, one nice solid part of the brain there on the left and then the Australian side there. <laughs> I'm just going to tie that on, tie that on. We're going to use this microphone stand as a human spine. Look at that. Look at us go. I'm going to tie that on there and look at that beautiful brain. Oh, that would be Naomi Campbell there. Just so <laughs> there. That's her little baby bump and the little mini skirt she's modeling there. <laughs> With a pair of tights over here. There we go. Now, <laughs> now uh, this is the. <coughs> Sometimes the human brain doesn't operate quite how it should, does it? But the thing is, it's not really the human brain. The human brain is very complex, isn't it? It's not really the brain that really is the thing that we could judge someone on, is it? I think it's the heart. A heart is a much simpler thing, you know? And when we have a heart, we can fill it full of understanding and love, can't we? And it can be a useful, beautiful thing. And I'm, I'm going to actually build a, a heart out of this balloon, and I'm going to I'm going to make it a nice yellow heart, full of sunshine and love. And I want you all just to fill, think of somebody that needs a bit of love in their life, a little bit of understanding, or somebody that's maybe shown you a bit of love, so that you can get those feelings inside yourself. And I'm going to blow these into this balloon, and let's see how quickly we can make it make a, a heart. You ready? You ready? Uh, go. Done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't take a lot. <laughs> so now we're just going to put Naomi's heart in place. God knows she can do with it. And uh, there we go. No, there we go. There's Naomi's little heart. Look at her. Bless her little soul. There you are, kids. So there's uh, whatever you'd like to call this now. <laughs> it's important after any project to clean up. I'll put the tools in the box. There you go. Thank you very much, kids. You've been there. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mark Scott, comedian Mark Scott, DIY John.